What's up guys? Uh, today we are going to talk about something a little different. Um, it's a bummer and you know I, I posted this to my Instagram along with a lot of other people, a lot of reposts, but I think it, it needs more traction. There's a kid from our high school. Uh, his name is Ryan Joseph and he's a lacrosse player and a wrestler. Uh, January 10th he was in a wrestling meet uh, and he was um, it was a, it was a legal move, but apparently, the Ryan and, and his opponent their feet got tangled, and Ryan went down weird, and broke his neck. Um, C four, I think. So, is currently uh, paralyzed from the neck down. Um, you know, quadra quadriplegic is what that is. Uh, so no arms. He is unable to breathe on his own. Yesterday or the day before they did a tracheotomy uh, So now apparently his ventilator goes through here, which allows him to talk Which is good. Um, I, I don't know if he can actually talk I think he's still mouthing words, but he's able to mouth the words because he doesn't have the tube in his mouth um, Ryan is So I, I remember clearly my first real interaction with him was last summer uh, at a clinic at our high school and he was in my group, you know, we had stations doing some kind of ground ball drill. And the kid's energy was unbelievable. Um, normally when kids are, you know, just cracking wise and making jokes nonstop like Ryan was, I get annoyed because they're usually not funny. But Ryan was cracking me up. And I remember looking at him, square in the face, like, you make me laugh. And he made the practice fun. So that was my first exposure, and I mean, I had seen him around. I, you know, he was on the other team. Um, I had been watching him face off because I knew that we were graduating our our senior face off guy, and uh, was real excited to get Ryan because he's an athletic kid, strong, uh, strong, athletic, fast, and I was like, that's going to be the future face off guy for College Park. Um, but so positive you know seeing him on the sidelines uh, hearing him talk to his teammates happy positive I mean, just awesome kid uh, awesome Riley my younger son and Tanner my older son uh, Riley's at College Park now Tanner's no longer at College Park he graduated but you know they both have fond memories of Riley I mean they're not in the same friend group but Riley knows Ryan and likes Ryan. He's told me on occasions, like even before this, like, Ryan Joseph cracks me up. That kid is funny. And he is. And so now they are faced with just an unbelievable challenge. Um, the family. I don't know the family. Um, but apparently they are awesome too. And, you know, usually when you find a kid who's just rad, the parents are rad. And so, you know, they're well equipped, I think to tackle this because they're positive from what I've heard mom and dad are positive and, and you know Ryan he is if you had to pick a personality type to go through something like this obviously you would never pick a person but a, a type of personality that I think will persevere and make the best of it it's a kid like Ryan um, you know his, his positivity and his, his wit and his outlook it'll It'll help him through this monumental um, <clears throat> road, this this path that he's on now. Uh, it'll help, and it's not going to be easy by any means. Uh, so anyway, I the reason I'm making this video is because I think we need further reach, and I know there's been a lot of tragedy over the years in lacrosse. People posting things, and you know I've donated and I've I've reposted a couple things, but it never really touched me. And I know that's kind of hypocritical now that something's close that I am saying, hey, let's help this kid. But the fact of the matter is I know this kid. I have a platform. I'm going to use it. <clears throat> um, he's got a GoFundMe. And it's, you know, he's he's gaining traction in the Bay Area. Actually, all over, you know, wrestling teams, high school wrestling teams all over the country are donating. Um, local wrestling teams, local high schools. You know, rival high schools are, are having fundraisers. It's something that really touches everybody. 
just a, a regular kid, you know, that everyone liked, uh, so everyone can relate to him. Uh, but then also, you know, getting injured in sports. I mean, every athlete, every parent of every athlete, it's it's your worst fear. Um, and I know around here, everyone's thinking about it all the time. We had a clinic last night, uh, Thursday, yeah, Thursday night. And our AD came out and showed us pictures of Ryan and, you know, gave us updates. And, uh, and there were a lot of tears, you know. I mean, it's unbelievable what this kid's going through and is what, what his parents are going through. Um, and uh, I can't even, I can't even imagine. So, neck down is where he is now. Um, I, I don't know what the prognosis is. You know, I'm not, I'm not talking to anyone except our, our AD who's giving us updates. Um, but whatever the prognosis is, like if there's a chance for for movement, um, it is an incredibly long haul to get there. Uh, it's it's a lot, and. Um, It's going to be expensive, uh, you know, and that's that's the the reason I'm making this video is, is there's a GoFundMe and you know if you if you've seen it and you've reposted it that's huge that's part of the the solution is to get it out everywhere um, you can find it on my Instagram page but <clears throat> if it's easy to to just pass over those things and I know because I've done it but if you sit and think about it what if it was my kids. You know, and we've got this community that I think we can rally behind something like this, and I think we should do it for all the other cases that come in. Uh, let's help each other out. Um, obviously, the lacrosse community is growing, but there's still that uh, brotherhood, that, that sisterhood, the, you know. just it, it's it's something that unites us it's something that links us and I think we should step up and help each other out so in my in the description on this video is a link to Ryan's GoFundMe page you can use PayPal you can use a credit card you can do a dollar I think and maybe the minimum is more than a dollar but I know you can do 10 you can do you can do anything um, and it all helps I was reading about Christopher Reeve uh, the guy who played Superman in the old 80s Superman movies and you know he was um, he suffered a spinal cord injury riding a horse I think it was like competition horse riding uh, where you jump his was even more severe because his skull detached from his spine but he was a quadriplegic with a breathing tube um, but I think the uh, the article it kind of interviewed him and, and he was talking about how his care is so expensive like three hundred thousand dollars a year uh, which wasn't a problem for him but he set up foundations because he knows you know, it, it is a problem for a lot of people and there are a lot of spinal cord injuries in the world uh, they happen every year when i was in high school uh, matt oberholtz who was a tight end on the football team uh, i think we were it was we were jv and i remember him clearly catching a pass he was his first catch, and he was a big kid, rambled on for an extra 10. And my mind may be joining stories, but I think it was that night. It was Friday night after that catch, and I remember I was a guard blocking, and I remember seeing Matty running downfield, stoked, like pumped for him. He caught, made a catch. That night, he and two other guys, uh, one of which was inside linebacker with me on defense, and they went off a little ravine in Moraga and uh, Matt broke his back and has been a paraplegic ever since but he's like a national disabled he's like the national disabled water ski coach he runs this uh, company that teaches disabled people how to water ski he's just a stud he's made the most of it and so you know faced with the worst possible situation uh, people can come through it people can can do great things and 
someone like Ryan, a personality like Ryan, uh, that's what I see. But the the nuts and bolts of it, you know, when you boil it down, it's going to cost money to get him through this, to get him to the next phase of of living, of figuring out, you know, how to modify the house, how to have care, how, all the things that, that they are going to have to do um, in the short term, even if he makes a full recovery, you know, for a long time, it's going to be real intense and real expensive. So if you've got an extra couple bucks, uh, or if you have a rich uncle who has been touched by spinal cord injuries, you know, send them this link, send them this video, send them the, the Ryan's GoFundMe page, and let's just throw money at this thing. Um, I think their goal is $300,000, which, uh, you know, if you look at, at Christopher Reeves' care, that's about a year. Um, so let's, you know, I think they're at about 100000 now. It would be awesome to get them to 300 quickly. You know, it's something that I know that Ryan's uncle is, is managing all that. And uh, I think it was a kid who started the GoFundMe, but it's all legit. It's all on the up and up. Um, but it'd be great for the parents not to have to worry about that. You know, there's enough on their plate right now. Um, and it's obviously, you know, I'm making this video because it's close to home. It's a uh, College Park Falcon. Uh, but, you know, thinking about it and thinking back to Matt Oberholtz in high school and, you know, this, this is, it happens so fast and it can be anybody. Um, and I would like to think that if it were to happen to me or my kids, there would be an outpouring of support like there is for Ryan. I like to think that if it happened to you or your family members or friends, there would be an outpouring of support. Uh, especially in our community, our lacrosse community, which is pretty tight-knit. You know, I want that support system to be there for all of us. And if we set a precedent now of donating money where money is needed, you know, I, I think that will bode well for the future uh, because there will be more injuries, there will be more sicknesses. That's just the way it is. So let's let's do what we can. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Um, you know, if you if you search for Ryan Joseph, you'll find uh, there was a Sports Illustrated article uh, online. Uh, a lot of local news has picked it up. Um, you know, outpouring of support from from local high schools, and a lot of people are donating money, but they really need more. Anyway, stay safe, uh, be a part of something bigger. You know, this community, I think we can do a lot of good. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Ryan, get better. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.